Uh, as I have dinner plans tomorrow, I had to make a quick call. But... Plans should be going as expected. Let's see. Um, something like this. Do know that this doesn't really connect up, but it doesn't matter. Um, then... Boop, boop, boop. We can go to there. It's also how we do it down here. Yes. And then these continue on. Something seems weird. I didn't do this the same way as I did down south. Yes, I did do it a bit weird. Well, that's better. And then you go to there. And you go to there. I think that's everything. <laughs> and then we're going to have to make this magnificent fucker again. Also, let's get rid of this engineering nightmare. So, um, the first one of these, let's just copy you over, is over here. The second one is... Wait, is this at the first, second? And then it's here. Wait. Well, this is easy. You're here. <laughs> And then your output is one over to this one. Yeah, one over, not two over. There, that's symmetrical. In you go. And it's like this. And then we just have to hook you all up. What? It's there. This should be symmetrical. Well, you have to be down by one, so... Down by one we go. This is... Ah, like this. It's always a bit hard to see in these ghost images what you're actually building at the moment. Which I do not like. Also, the deadlock is still continuing on. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah. So. Ah, can't we just burn all these trains to the ground? You. Now you're already going home. You want to go home. You. Look at this mess! Ew, go there. Just go away. Every train that's empty, go away. Not required at the moment. 
Same is true for all of these trains. They all want to do something. They don't have to do anything. Good, things are moving. Ah, but remaking this will be such a hassle. But <coughs> well, as this is more or less our initial base, I think just lowering the amount of trains could fix stuff. Also, maybe reworking the schedule a bit. And up here, where we have way more space, and as such... <laughs> That's happened. <laughs> You're going to be stuck there for a while. Good. Now we need some lamps in here. It's super duper dark. Then place the lamp there. Why is there? You're not required. Same down here, there, 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 there. Oh, I see the difference. Wait. Ah, doesn't matter. As long as things are running, I'm fine with it. And while we add it, let's see, let's place one here. Let's place one there. And then one here. And that should power everyone up. Now, these pump out 200 items per second when they're running at maximum capacity. Oh, also we should do something about the fluids. And uh, we do have enough space to pull the fluids through. Uh, which does mean we do need two fluid stations down here. Also, ah shit, this is, okay, this is easy, this is doable, actually we just pull you back, all the way over here, and now we place the station over here, and take these, paint this, Let's wait for the station to come, and then we can place you down. Good, 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 good. How's the deadlock go? Oh, it's tightening again because you are being stupid, and you are being stupid. There are also some trains up there that do not do what they should be doing. You go there. You go there. When things come to its worst, we will probably have to remove a few trains to make this one going again. Yeah, problem is this is just way too tightly built. And that's an issue. Okay. Um, so, output of these will be about 200 items per, uh, per factory. So, all of this, ultimate belt. Then, all of you will be iron ingots. Where are they? Iron, 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 iron. There, yeah, iron ingots. Um, we need three ingots per second. Crafting speed 12.6, so something, something, 36, 40 ish. So this should all be blue belt. You're blue.
Same over here. And we're just going to hammer in the blue belt. Which means each of these should at least be blue belt with the exception of the nickel belt, which has to be ultimate all the way up to here. And everyone else can be blue. Oh, that was wrong. That seems correct. Oh, there is a connection missing. Should be fine. <laughs> Man, if this thing goes, this will look so amazing. There are bits here and there missing. Wow, what happened over here? And then we're also going to have you. Now then, this will be nickel ingots. Then we do have to match this a bit. So this will be silicone. Platinum. No, this is steel. Silicone. Silicone. Nickel, nickel. Then this will be, you're going to here, silico, wait, oh, um, this is not mirrored, So, yeah, silicone goes in the middle. Yeah. Then this will be manganese. So, manganese is... This is silicone. So, this should be manganese. Wait, wait. Things are going weird. This is silicone. This is manganese. Then we have the first and the fourth one, which both go up here. One of these will be chrome and the other will be Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I have it. So. This is not silicone. This is cobalt. This is silicone. This should be manganese. And uh, this should be chrome. <laughs> I'm not gonna check it, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Good! And uh, hook you up, hook you up. Now, oh, this is an ingot smelter. Yeah, uh, a plate smelter, not like, where's the other thing? Where's the old one? I like this one. This is for noobs. 
This is how you make plates. Now we need two of these uh, for the uh, coolant. Also, no, the deadlock still persists. You go there. You go home. You go home. You go home. Ah, oh, this is super annoying. If all else fails, we will have to get rid of the trains. Or try to build a bypass. What's the problem? The main pro oh, this is also a problem. Your ass is sticking out. Because this signal is wrong. That could also cause an issue. Then we have this signal. This signal is wrong. Then we have these trains, which are just sitting around over here. You go home. You go somewhere else. Then why could you go further? Because they are all waiting to go in. Then you're waiting, go home. Well, that's too late. Also, they are all picking up these small microtransactions, which is super annoying. Ah, but this has been built. Good! Ah, that's a signal in the way. There you go. So now we have only to fix the coolant. And getting the coolant through over here is going to be a bit harder than expected. Um, no, wait. Yeah. Uh, move this out by one. We need a little bit of space to work over here with the pipes. Because the pipes are going like this. Yeah, and then under. Okay. This is a bit disappointing. But this will work. So maybe let's just use solid steel pipe everywhere. And then connect you up. This can go, this can go, this can go. Good. And then you there, you there, you there. Um, this will not work like this. Also, what's going on over here? This is wrong. This, however, will work. And then it's this, 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 this. Standard pipe. This is the way we want to go. And you can go over here. So you can go into there. Only problem is going to be uh, one of these. Which we can fix by going like this. There we go. Good. 
Coolant over. Now uh, we have to do the same down here. And then you go all the way over there. 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 Oh, no, wait. There. Oh, this is still the old track. There we are. Oh, shit. <laughs> um... Well, actually... Perfect. Thanks for this gap. Also, am I making steel on the run pipe somewhere? It seems so. Or do I just have ludicrous amounts of it in storage? And then we need to hook you up. So let's take one of you. Go there, go there, go in. And we're going to do this trick over here. Nope, there. That should do the trick. So, coolant is done. Um, also, you are the other way around. You're an output. And you're an input. Also, this. This. <laughs> excellent excellent so um one over here one over there copy your design over paste paste then oh wait i need one of these there there Hook you up, hook you up, and your requester so negates the LTN, and read from the train, negates the LTN, read from the train, and these are set up correctly, so request, um, 75,000 is your threshold, yeah, that should be fine. And you are going to call up Iron Ingots. A hundred and fifty thousand of it. And actually, your threshold is going to be um uh, one twenty, no, one one eighteen thousand. Which is just one delivery under the maximum of 150,000. So when a delivery is scheduled, it will at least always be a full uh, delivery. These, however, these will be a little bit different. You are going to request cobalt, you're going to request nickel, manganese, silicone, and chrome. And we have a size of 150,000, so... 32,000 is actually the way to go. However, five deliveries of 32,000 does just fit into here. Yes, five deliveries of 32,000 exactly fits in there because we can fit in 151,000 uh, stuff in there. So five of these will be... It'll be fine! <laughs> 32,000, 32,000, 32,000. And your threshold is at zero. Once you're out, you request. Good. Now I want to see all the colors in here. Uh, we should also set you up real quick. Um, let's place you. Let's place you there. 
That's all connected. Uh, your requester. Your provider. Yes. Hook this up. Oh, wait. Hook you up. Hook you up. Um, 250-0000. Request. And what are we going to request? Well, we are going to request... Where is it? Coolant. 350,000 of it. And your provider. Provider size is... A hundred thousand. Yeah, that's correct. Network size is two. Uh, network ID is two. You're going to provide whatever you find up in there. And you're also network two. Yeah, that should work. Now we have to hook these up. As a provider, uh, you negate the train and read from the LTN. Ah, there's another deadlock going. That's super annoying. Or oh, actually, the deadlock is probably still continuing. Ah, it's a bit better. We are almost true to here. And there's a signal missing over here, which makes you stand over there. Ah, iron is there. Uh, the first one should actually already be going. Why aren't you going? Oh, actually, yes, these are already full of molten iron. But the coolant is missing. Here comes the cobalt. Oh, speaking of coolant, upper these, upper these. Uh, there's something wrong here. Kind of seems that there was a yellow belt in there somewhere. Well, should be fine. Or maybe it was just the beginning of the input over here. So that's cobalt done. Oh, there are signals missing everywhere here. Well, we will do, do the signals too. Here comes the manganese. Yeah, you're going into the correct way. Yes! Look at this magnificent machine. Uh, but we should do something about signals. There, there, and then there, there. Oh, and here comes the first coolant. Oh. oh, there it goes. First batches are being made. Look at the speed of these. <laughs> Here comes the uh, nickel, which feeds most of these. Amazing. Yeah, and currently the problem is we're not getting enough coolant in. <laughs> Well, this one is running as fast as you can. And this one is running as fast as you can. And this now is in balance, which is a little bit weird. Well, this thing, this thing will be always be filled up to the rim, so it should be fine.
<laughs> Look at this thing go! Already made 2,000 products. Currently making 24,000 iron plates per minute. And the problem is, you're not going. Now you're going. Do you also have some problem over here? And it's actually the coolant is the problem. Not getting enough coolant in. Amazing. Let's see, um, yeah, they are. Oh, remove you. Can we place one of these in here? Not really. So maybe we have to build a extra coolant plant next to this. <laughs> but coolant also seems to be picked up, which is nice. But without coolant, this thing just stops in its tracks. <laughs> And I'm still not quite sure where this imbalance comes from. They should all be going like a charm. Is any one of these not working? Uh, you only finished six products. Why is that? Whereas you made 280, you made 175, and you made the most of them. You do not make any, which is fine. I'm missing a connection here somewhere. It's weird that he only made six products. You also only make six. Oh, you made 324. 46, 29, nothing. And there seems always to be one that's not making enough. Also, we are pretty much capping the top of the pipe with 1,120 molten iron per second, but this should be fine, actually. Pipes can handle up to 1,200 uh, liquids. We may have to optimize this a bit. We may have to actually place a small in-between tank. And again, these are all full to the brim. It's the coolant that's not doing the job. And then we have the problem that coolant is going to be get out of here. Or has to be pulled out of here. And this is just currently a big chaos. Uh, we could probably make a new coolant making facility because coolant is pretty much just made out of mineral oil and if we're gonna make a few more strand casters down here and here and here we could make for example maybe even over here we do not use the space over here make a uh, coolant making facility over here and then maybe a coolant cleaning facility next to it I'm not quite sure yet but we should yeah yeah that's what we're going to do 
That's actually what we're going to do next. Also, we have this area over here. We... Can we fit another one of these in here? That's the question. We can make it work. It'll fit exactly. And we would need another one of these because the steel recipes are pretty much identical. Also, aluminum will be different and titanium is also identical. Chrome cobalt, aluminum tin, nickel, manganese. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, steel. Let's let's go back to steel once more. Um, chrome, powdered tungsten, nickel, cobalt, manganese, silicone. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. None of these are identical as this one. Then again, fitting in another output into here should be possible. Yeah, definitely possible. But look at it go! That's how you make iron plates. At some point we should make chrome, uh, but the only way to get chrome is, I think... Yeah, by ferrous crystal sorting, and we're not doing that yet. But we are prepared for it. Uh, seriously? This is all still stuck? Go home. Well, let's make the coolant station first. We are going to need tons and tons of coolant. And it's going to be up there. Actually, maybe we can fit it over here in this sliver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can fit it into here. What do we need? We need two stations. And then only a lot of... Um, coolant makers. Also... Uh, making the cleaning station probably has priority because we want to clean the stuff as much as possible before we make actually new stuff. So let's make a new cleaning station down here first. That's going to be super easy. We are just going to need... Oh, we could go with multiple inputs. Something like this. Now, instead of multiple inputs, we should just make multiple stations. That's easier. And then we're going to make this as compact as possible and then place another one next to it. So, you are going to order up use coolant. We already have a coolant cleaning station down here. So we do know how it's going to look. And now that I think about it. Oh, we have, I think we have a problem. How is the coolant doing over... Who else uses coolant? You use this coolant. Well, it's, it's being picked up, it seems. So, we could just blueprint this over.
Let's adjust the rails up here. We do not need these. So don't need any one of this. How's this? Uh, where is he? Yeah. Remove this, remove this. And then we'll have to do a little bit of tweaking, but it should be fine. Coolant. No. Where am I? There, there I am. Coolant. That's fine. Oh, it can't build on cream dirt six. Because I need the water input, that's fine. Now we have to do a little bit of magic on these pipes. Fine. Then we can also pull you up. Can we actually pull you all the way over there? No. And pull you along. There. Are the lamps in this design? Yes, they are. I do love it when my robots work like this for me. Hey, Jen! Charge! How are you doing? 